So in the last class, uh, we have discussed about uh, what structures, how to copy the data between two dissimilar structures. What is the difference between new and new corresponding, including one structure inside another structure and the nested structure, declaring the structure within another structure. Okay, so we are done with the basic programming part. Now today I'm going to we'll start with a new topic internal tables internal tables okay so let's understand the purpose of the internal tables what is this internal table is it is a temporary table created in the application server during program execution okay it is a temporary table created in the application server during program execution so where our program gets executed in the application server okay whenever we say f8 okay our program gets executed in the application server so as part of that execution an internal table will be what created so what is the purpose of this internal table is it is used for storing the data what temporarily means if you take our database tables you will have huge amount of data stored in the database tables okay so we need to develop the reports to consume the data from those uh, database tables and display it to the user in the desired format okay so in that cases we'll go for what internal tables so i repeat once again internal table is a what temporary table created in the application server during the program execution the main purpose of internal table is to store the data retrieved from your database table once the data is retrieved into the internal table we can do the processing on that particular internal table and that process the data we can update it back to database table or will display it to the user in the form of what a report that's it. that is the main purpose of what internal table <clears throat> okay so i'll repeat this see this diagram so we are trying to understand the purpose of what internal table so i'll repeat this once again just observe so see here this is your database table this is the database server what will be there in the database server there will be many tables many database tables what is the purpose of database tables to store the data permanently to store the data permanently in the form of what rows and what columns so assume that this is my database table where you have many database tables so i want to develop a program okay so whenever i run my program so this is our program whenever i run my program the internal table gets created in the runtime runtime means what during the program execution the internal table gets what uh, created so what i am going to do here see the second step is what we are sending the request for what database server for retrieving the data so we will write some select statement the select statement what it will do it will fetch it will send the request to our database server for reading the data from one or more tables what are the data you have retrieved from your database tables so the third set is what retrieve data this data will come and sit in what internal table this is a temporary table which gets created in the application server whenever we execute our program so the retrieved data will store it in the internal table once a data is stored in the internal table we can process that particular data in the sense i can add some additional data i can modify the existing data i can delete the existing data okay i may sort the data i may perform some calculations on that data so i'll do all types of processing on the internal table that process the data we will update it back to what database or you will display that process data to the user 
in the form of what report what is a report here summary of what data am i clear so instead of doing the operations directly on the database server whatever the required data is there that required data will pull it to what internal table we will store it in the internal table and you will do the processing on the internal table when i say processing i may add additional data i may delete the existing data i may modify the existing data i may do some calculations on the data i may do some sorting on the data all types of processing i'll do it on the internal table that processed data we will update it back to our database means instead of directly doing the processing on the database server we are retrieving the data we are doing the processing on what internal table if you directly do the processing on the database server it will increase the load on what database server it will increase the network traffic thereby it will decrease the performance of the reports that's the reason we will retrieve the data into the internal table we will do the processing that processed data we may update it back to database or we will display that processed data to the user in the form of what report report is nothing but what a summary of data by looking at that data by looking at that data we can do some analysis that is the main purpose of what reports okay so understood the purpose of internal table it is not permanent database table is permanent and database table exists in the database server whereas internal table is temporary it gets created in the application server it gets created in the application server during the program execution during the program execution it gets created we will store the data temporarily we will do the processing on that and we will display it to the user in the form of report or we will update it back to what database this is the main purpose of what internal table any questions and you can see internal table can store what multiple records last couple of sessions we have seen structures that is work area we understood that work area can store only what single record if you try to store the next record the previous record will be overwritten whereas internal table can store what multiple records so at this stage what we will do is we will see what are the statements keywords related to what internal table later on during the course we will get the data from what database because at this stage we don't know how to interact with the database so what we will do for the next few sessions is we will create the internal table we will fill the internal table data manually according to this diagram we are retrieving the data from the database okay after retrieving the data we are storing it in what internal table but since we don't know how to retrieve we'll fill this data manually later on we'll see how to interact with the database so once the data is processed in the internal table i can update that data to the same table or i can update that data to my own table it's our wish depending on the requirement we can update it back to the same table or i may update it back to some other table that is our wish depending on the requirement we will do that but it will be updated back to what database it can be same table or it can be different table it is our wish depending on the requirement we will do it anuradha hope it's clear <coughs> depending on the way you write the logic i mean it will store again same table or otherwise uh, that's what i mean according explaining. to our requirement it can store in other table also that's all that's all okay. it depends on the requirement if you want to update the same database okay. table you can do it or if you want to put it in some other table you can put it depending on the requirement you have to write the logic appropriately okay okay thank you yes. any other doubts others so at this stage we don't know how to deal with the database so we will not touch the database at this stage we will first understand the different keywords related to the internal tables later on during the course after a few days we will see how to interact with the database
but in the real time this is the general purpose of the internal data uh, so this part, yeah sir this internal table we will create our system will create if you see the diagram here whenever we start the execution of the program we will be creating the internal table and once a program execution is finished the internal table will be automatically destroyed the lifetime of this internal table oh. is only during the program execution so we need to create okay. only particular session after yeah, finishing that the session program, internal table program not session during the program execution okay. only okay during okay. the program execution only it's not for the complete session because in that session i may run multiple programs so internal table is always local to the program local to the program right sir it's similar like local table in as in sql right yes local table global table same like it's yes. so local table. yes 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 the lifetime the scope of that internal table is only within that program not outside the program Okay. Yeah. Right. So now this internal table we can declare in many ways. Okay. So let's see one by one. So first, my simple requirement is before you declare the internal table, we need to understand what fields you have to declare in the internal table. We need to understand what are the data types you have to give in that internal table. what are the sequence of the fields the developer has to decide let us start with a very simple example so i want to create an internal table to store some employee data okay so i want to declare some fields like employee number employee name and employee designation so last two sessions we have declared the work area i mean this is structure and we understood that that can store only what single record now the purpose of internal table is i can deal with what multiple records excuse me please thanks I'll create this program. Internal table declaration. Filling data. Display data. Okay. So the type of program is executable program. I'll say it in the local object. Okay. so what is the standard way of declaring the structures the standard way of declaring the structure is first we will be creating the types declaration with the required fields i mean to say we need to declare the template of the fields how do you create that by using a types keyword so it's a types types of begin of ty underscore emp i'll declare some fields here like employee number type i Let me declare another field. Employee name of 20, type C, and I'll say employee designation of something 25, type C. Okay, I'll close the types declaration. End of what? T Y underscore E M P. So already we know types declaration doesn't allocate any memory. So this is only what types declaration, which will only provide the template of the fields. so based on this i need to create the internal table so this internal tables we can classify into what this internal table we can classify into two types indexed and non index again index is further classified into two types okay something like this here 
this is the internal table classification indexed and what non index index is again further classified into what two types standard internal table then sorted internal table and non index what hash internal table so what is the difference between all these three that will understand only after three to four sessions after three to four sessions so first we'll focus on what standard internal table so this is a default internal table means if you don't mention if you don't mention the type of internal table it is understood as what standard internal table so while declaring the internal table we need to specify whether it is standard whether it is sorted whether it is hash if you don't specify anything by default it will take it as what standard internal table again what is this index what is this non index you will understand only after 3 to 4 sessions so forget about everything so first we'll focus only on what standard internal table yeah no other any questions in this uh, internal table what will be used in regularly in real time this one what are the data you retrieve from the database table we'll put it in what internal table yeah. we'll after storing it in the internal table we are going to process it after that that processed data we'll update it back to database or we'll display it to the user in the form of report Is it clear? Uh, sir, I mean, Anuradha, Anuradha, your voice is not at all clear. Your voice is not at all clear. Sir, so, sir, two types are there: indexed, non-indexed. In real time, which one is is more? That we'll understand after three to four. Okay, okay. See, the one point you have to understand: everything we'll use in real time. Uh, I, I'm stressing on this point. Whatever is there in our app, everything we'll use, but depends on what our knowledge level. Okay, some our app consultants may know only about standard. They'll only use standards. So I cannot say that we'll use only standard. We'll use only sorted. Every internal table. has got its own advantages and limitations depending on the requirement you have to use so my answer is depends on the requirement so which one we use frequently means maybe we may using all the things okay so since sap has gain all these types means definitely each one has got its own advantages so depending on the requirement we have to decide am i clear to everyone okay that's that's, that's the reason we are discussing everything otherwise We will not discuss other these types. We directly have doubt all what is the internal table, how to work with that. Since we use all these three types, we should know everything. So which one we use means that the developer has to decide depending on what data you are storing. So to understand that point, it will take some time when we go to our database program. Okay. Yeah. Here, as of now, the focus is. we are trying to understand the keywords related to what internal table so i create the types declaration based on this types declaration i need to create what internal table so i'll say data data generally in most of the projects the internal tables names will start with what t underscore in some projects they'll start with lt underscore in some project they'll start with gt underscore in some project they start with i tag understood so again i cannot say that you have to give only i tag depending upon the coding standards that we follow in the project we have to follow that okay that's why before you develop any code we are expected to know the coding standards followed in that particular project we need to refer to the manual by referring to that manual we understand with what name we have to declare the internal table so whatever i am discussing now it is a generalized thing which is used in most of the projects i said most not all again project to project may be what different so i'll say data i'll say t underscore generally you'll start with t underscore i'll give the you can give any name but 
since my internal table is going to store employee data, I'll give it as EMP, meaningful name. Then I'll say type, type, what is this? I'll say standard table of, standard table of ty underscore EMP. So what is the keyword I use here? I use the keyword what? Standard. Okay, I use the keyword standard. So what is the meaning? This is what kind of internal table? Standard internal table. The type of internal table is what? Standard internal table. Okay, done. So I declare that. I can declare like this or I'm going very slowly because almost in every requirement we will be using internal tables. Okay, so try to understand it. I can declare like this. Sorry, I can declare like this. I can say with what? Header line. Okay, so what is the meaning of header line means? An internal table can be created with header or without header. I repeat, when you are declaring the internal table, I can create it with header or without header. So what is header? You'll understand by the end of this program. I can declare like this. I can declare like this or I can say like this. Data T underscore EMP. I will not use any standard. Even if I don't use any standard keyword, if you don't mention any type of internal table, but default it is understood as what? Standard internal table. So what is the meaning? If you don't specify the type of internal table, by default it is considered as what? Standard internal table. Even if you specify also, no problem. Done. So I declare the internal table with header. So how the memory is allocated, just observe. This is how the memory is allocated. See here. So I created the internal table with header now. So already we know what is the meaning of header. Header is like what? A work area. So this is your header and this is your body of the internal table. This is a body of the internal table. Body of the internal table can store what? Multiple records. How many records means? No limitation. It can store any number of what? Records. Depending on the number of records you store, that much of memory will be allocated. So this memory is not fixed. It keeps on increasing depending on the data you store. So this is your header. Header is like a structure. Header is like a work area. Okay. So here, what are the fields in this? This is employee number. Okay. This is employee name. And this is employee designation. Okay. So this area... I call it as what? Default header. Default header means the header which got created along with the internal table or I can say default work area, header or work area and this is your body of the internal table. Okay, so I repeat this once again. I can declare the, otherwise can you please mute your speakers? Yeah, so I, what is the standard way of declaring the internal table? First, we need to visualize what are the fields we need to declare in the internal table. I want to store the employee data with some three fields, employee number, employee name, employee designation. So I created a template with those three fields with appropriate data types. Based on this types declaration, I have declared the internal table. Okay, I can declare the internal table either with header or without header, forget about without header, as of now, I am creating with header. So initially what I did, I used the keyword word standard. Even if I don't use the keyword standard, it is understood as what? Standard internal table, because the default internal table type is what? Standard internal table. So the internal table got created with header. With header meant something like this. Header is there and body is there and already we know the header fields gets initialized to what? Default values. Employee number is integer. Na? So this would be zero. Employee name is character. Na? This is space. And this is again not space. So what is the meaning here? The header fields got initialized to what? Default values depending on the data type. Okay. So I created the internal table. As of now, 
nothing is there in my internal table. When I say internal table, I am referring to a body. When I am saying internal table, I am referring to a body. Nothing is there in the body. Now what I will do, I will say write, try to understand. What is the name of the internal table? T underscore EMP, na? T underscore EMP iPhone. How do we access the structure fields? Already we know. Structure name iPhone. What? Field name. So I'll say T underscore EMP iPhone employee number. T underscore EMP iPhone employee name. T underscore EMP iPhone employee designation. So I'm trying to print employee number, employee name, and employee designation. So if you observe here, my internal table contains header part and the body part. I am using the right statement now. When I use the right statement, right statement always refers to header. I repeat once again. Whenever I use the right statement on the internal table, this is nothing but internal table now. Whenever I use the right statement on the internal table, it always refers to the header. What is the data in the header as of now? Zero and space now. So check it. No errors done. When I execute, when I say F8, what I got? I got employee number is zero, employee name is space, designation also what? Space. So I repeat this once again. I created the internal table with header. So what happens here? Internal table gets created with a default header, and the header fields will be initialized to what? Default values depending on the data types. Whenever I use a right statement on the internal table, it always refers to header. It always refers to the work area. What is the data there in the header? Zero space and what space without data forget about that. We'll discuss as and when required. Done. Okay, so I got the data zero space and space. Now what I'll do? I'll say T underscore EMP iPhone employee number equal to six. T underscore EMP iPhone employee name equal to I'll say Ravi and T underscore EMP iPhone what employee designation equal to I'll say something manager. So I'm doing some initialization. Now. This initialization will always refers to the header. What is header here? Zero space and space. Now. And we already know header can store. Or error is like a structure, work area. This can store only single record. Now. So this default data is overwritten with what? Six Ravi and what? Manager. So what is this now? This is six. This is Ravi. And this is what? Manager. So the data got stored in what? Header data got stored in the header i'll try to print it again okay so for your understanding i'll say here default values in header okay here i'll say data in header after what initialization right statement always refers to what header only so let me print it again so first time i got zero space and what space now i'll get what six ravi and what manager let me execute yes i got six ravi and what manager i'll debug then you can ask you the questions first let me debug i'll put the breakpoint here i cannot debug variable declaration so this comes under what variable declarations i can debug only executable statements so i'll put the cursor somewhere on this right statement I'll set to the breakpoint. I'll set the breakpoint. Let me execute. I'll say F8. Whenever that breakpoint is encountered, it has taken the control to the debugging mode. So for flexibility, initially I'll switch to the old debugger. So I'll choose go to navigate to what? Switch to classic debugger. Done. It is going to the classic debugger. Right. So I declare the internal table observe here. If I double click on this T underscore EMP, you can see. This is your what symbol for what internal table. Can I see the contents? Yes, we have a button here table. I'll go to the table. What is the internal table name? T underscore what EMP. Yeah? T underscore EMP. When I press enter, you can see here I got the cap symbol here, which indicates what it is header. What is this? Zero space and space. This empty area is here now. This is nothing but body area, nothing is there. As of now. Header got initialized to a default values. Done. Now, when I use a right statement, right statement I said whenever I use a right statement on the internal table, it always refers to the header. Na? So, what is the data in the header? Zero space and space. So, let me say F5. 
how do you execute one statement at a time fi i'll say fi i'll say fi here again done i might have got the data in there check the data so far what is that zero space and what space i got the default values from the header now what i am doing i am doing initialization this initialization is always done at the header level what is the current data in the header zero space and space and already we know header can accommodate only single record so when you do the initialization this default value is overwritten with what initialized value so let me say fi i'll say fi zero got overwritten with what six space got overwritten with ravi again space fi space got overwritten with what manager so it got the header record got overwritten that's what i am representing here also no? zero space and space got overwritten with six ravi and what manager done again i am using write statement right said so always surface the header na what is the current record in the header six ravi and manager so when i say fi yes i got it is going to some standard code how to come out of this because there is a last statement is going to some standard code how to come out that plus f8 i got six ravi manager so what you have to understand right statement always refers to what header okay and initially i got default value zero space and space now i got six ravi manager but what is the purpose of internal table purpose of internal table is to store what multiple records but as of now nothing is there in my internal table now when i say internal table i am referring to body so what i do what i have to do before storing before initializing one more record what are the record is there in the header i need to copy to what body then i can initialize it in the header okay i cannot directly put the data in the body so what i have to do here here i'll say try to understand i'll say append append what t underscore emp append t underscore emp what this append statement will do it will make a copy of the header record and copies it to the end of the internal table so this is nothing but at this stage this is nothing but begin and end na. so what happened what the append statement will do append statement copies the current record from the header to the body of the to the end of the internal table at this stage this is nothing but the begin and what end of the internal table because there is no data so append statement is copying the data from what header to body it will copy it will not remove it from header so what is the cop record will copy six ravi and what manager six ravi and what manager so one record is copied to the body the position of the the index of the internal table always starts from one so what is the index position there one already we know in abap the index of the string starts from zero the index of the internal table starts from what one side so the record is copied to the body now what i have to do i have one, one more record so what you have to do you have to initialize in the header from header you have to copy to body we don't have any statement which will directly put the data in the body if you are getting it from the database yes the data retrieved will come and sit in the body but at this say we are not retrieving it from the database we are filling it manually done so i have done append so if i if i assign one more record what happens it will override the previous record in the header na? right so sap will override instead of sap overwriting the good programming is you clear you know you want to store a new value you clear the old value if you don't clear sap will automatically clear but you will have some issues going forward again to understand that point you have to come to read statement that's why make an habit you clear i'll say clear what t underscore emp what this will do my internal table contains default header na? so clears what header clears what header means what are the data is there in the header what is the data in the header at this stage six ravi and manager na? this should be cleared again it will set back to what default value what is the default value what is the default value zero space and what space then what i am doing here I am doing initializing. Na? So I'll say 16. Here I'll say something. Mahesh, and I'll say something. What employee? I'll say employee. So where this initialization will be done in the header only. So this is what 16, and this is Mahesh, and what is this employee? 16 Mahesh and what employee? So assignment initialization will always be done in the header. Now what I have to do? I have to copy to body. Now do you copy? Append t underscore what emp. 
what the append statement will do it copies a record from header to the end of the internal table so this record is copied to the end of the internal table something like this okay it will not remove it from the header it makes a copy and puts it to the end of the internal table so this is 16 what is this mahesh and what is this employee what is the position of this position of this is a two done let me store one more record so what is a good practice you clear the old data clear p underscore emp what this clear will do it will clear the data from the header it will clear the data from the header so it will clear it will set back the default value what is the default value is zero space and what space let me do initialization now let me finish up this then you can ask me the questions i'll say eight i'll give this as something a show and i'll give this as something about manager eight ashok and manager so again you are doing the initialization now initialization will always be done in the header so this is time consuming to explain but this internal is the base for the rest of the course ashok and what i did here something about manager i'm appending now so i need to append now so this is eight and what is this ashok sorry ashok and then what manager manager so it is appended to the end of the internal table when you use what append statement it will append it to the end of the internal table something like this append will always point to the end of the internal table it will add it at the end of the internal table so let me use append here let's append p underscore emp done let me store one more record that's a sinuous i'll say this is something what employee so again i am initial clearing and i'm initializing okay so this gets clear So what is the initialize record seven sinuas and what else employer that you know you are appending now so this becomes what seven and what is this sinuas and this is employer done employer so what are the index positions two then what three and what four like this okay done so this is my data done now i'll say data in what header so i'll use right statement right statement always refers to the header na? so t underscore emp hyphen employee number t underscore emp hyphen what employee name t underscore emp hyphen what employee designation employee designation okay done employee designation so what happens here you are referring to the header so what is the date current record in the header current record in the header seven sinuas and employee no? so i should get seven sinuas and employee let me cross check see at the last what i got seven sinuas and employee understood right statement always refers to what header but in the internal table in the body i stood how many records four records how did they stood first time i must initialize at what header level then you have to copy to the body and that is done by using what append the statement that is done by using append statement now i want to print the data in my internal table how do you print by using write statement only now? but write statement always refers to what header so what i have to do now again i have to get each record from what body to header i have to get each record from body to header okay so what i'll do now i'll say write data in what body i'm going to say internal table for understanding i'll use some color done okay so i don't know how many records are there, in the, are there in the internal table i may have one record or i may have one lakh records but i have to start i want to print all the records i have to start from first record to end of the internal table so already in the beginning of the course we have seen some looping statements while end while and what do and do now i'll use a statement called as loop at what t underscore emp and end loop loop at t underscore emp and what end loop what this loop statement will do it starts from the first record of the internal table 
it will copy it will populate the record it will populate the first record from body to what header it will populate the first record from body to header so this is reverse of append what is this loop statement so what is the first record here six ravi and mandy and so the header record gets overwritten this is overwritten this is overwritten what is the data which will be populated in the header six ravi and mandy error six loop always starts the first record six ravi and what manager so is it successfully populated there to the header yes it is successfully copied to what header it will enter the loop how do you refer to the header by using right statement you know? so i'll use a right statement i'll print it so what is the first record populated there six ravi and what manager right so again end loop end loop means what automatically automatically cursor goes to what second record because it's a looping statement looping statement what it keeps on executing the loop till the condition is what fail so the second record is populated second record is populated from body to header what is the second record here 16 mahesh and what employee so this is again overwritten overwritten the second record would be populated what is that 16 mahesh mahesh and this is what employee 16 mahesh and what employee is it successfully copied yes it is successfully copied it will enter the loop i'm using the right statement right statement refers to it what is the current record 16 mahesh to answer end loop na end loop is what automatically cursor goes to what second record it will go to the sorry to go to the next record what is the next record the third record it is it is going to populate when i say loop here it is going to populate the data from body to header so what is the third record in the queue excuse me what is the third record in the queue here what is that eight ashok and what manager so this is overwritten what is this eight ashok and something what manager it is successfully copied to the header na since it is successfully copied it will enter the loop again i am using right sheet to print it again loop and loop na so what happens again the cursor goes automatically to what the next record in the queue do you any further record to read yes you have one more record to read you can populate this data to the what body to the header what is the data it is populated now seven sinuas and employee na seven sinuas and employee so you populate seven sinuas and employee Seven sinuas not and why it is successfully populated to the header, na? successfully copied from body to what header. It will enter the loop. Again, I'm using right statement which refers to it. We print it. Again, end loop. End loop means do any further record to read here? No. So what happened? The loop statement will what fail. Since there are no further records to loop, it will fail. So how many times the loop is iterated here? Depending on the number of records in the internal table. So save it. Check it. Done. Execute. Yes, I got the data. Six Ravi manager. Focus of the last six, sixteen, eight, and what? Seven. And I told that the index of the internal table starts from what? One. So already we have seen some system fields like what? Sci datum, sci ujit, sci rep id. Similarly, these three are my internal table fields. So inside the loop only, I want to print the index number. So inside the loop only. I need to refer to a system field called as sci tabix. Sci tabix. I'm refer. I'm printing the value of what sci tabix, which will refer to what index position in the internal table. When I say F8, yes, what are the index positions I got? One, two, three, four. Which record it has processed in the loop? How many times the loop is iterated? Four times because we have what four records in the internal table. Okay. So what you have to understand from this program is. we are not retrieving it from the database forget about database for few days what we have done we have declared the internal table and we are filling the internal table data manually what is the procedure for filling the data manually we don't have any statement to directly put the data in the body first you have to assign it to initialize it to header from header you have to copy it to the body of the internal table and that is done by using what append statement append statement always refers to the end of the Internal table. So once the data is appended to the internal table, 
if you want to display that inter if you want to process that internal table i need to use what loop and loop loop and loop starts from what first record onward it will populate the first record into what header like that if it is successfully populated it will enter the loop how many times this will be loop it iterated here four times so if you debug here just observe i'm putting the breakpoint directly in the 49th line observe here when i execute if i go to old debugger old debugger so this is what the output generated so far if you say display list this is what the output generated so far now i'm trying to display the data in what body so i'm saying loop at t underscore mb see the table here observe here good you can see what is the internal table this is the header what will be there in the header the last record which you assigned what is that seven series employee and this is the data in the body the index is starting from what one so what this loop statement will do it will pick up the first record what is the first record six ravi manager it will copy that it will populate the data to the header means the seven sinuas employee is overwritten with what six ravi manager so when i say fi when i say fi yes it has entered the loop by populating the first record since it is successfully populated it is entering the loop i am using the right statement right statement always refers to the header na? what is the header record here six ravi manager when i say fi see what i got i got the first record six ravi manager then it's a looping statement na? so when i say fi again loop what this loop will do it will pop automatically the cursor position will be there in the second record automatically the cursor position will go to the second record what is the second record here 16 mahesh and what employee this record is populated to what header when i say fi as it populated yes i got 16 mahesh employee since it is successfully populated it has entered the loop i'm using the right statement yes i got what 16 mahesh and what employee done then again loop and loop now automatically the third record is populated so when i say fi what is the third record eight ashok manager na? yes i got eight ashok manager populated to the header successfully probably i'm printing it done i got what eight ashok and what manager this is also understood then i'll say fi again i'll say fi the next record what is the next record here seven sinuas and employee yes it is successfully copied to the header seven sinuas employee i'm printing it done so it has displayed all the four records done now again i'm saying loop and loop loop do we any further records to loop after this fourth record no no we don't have any further records in the internal table so the loop statement will fail means it will not enter the loop so when i say fi see here it is coming out of the loop it is not entering it is coming out of the loop fi it is going to some standard program how to come out of this press f8 i got the result so, so. so this is the way to fill the internal table and to loop the internal table. Now, if you have any questions, you can ask. So here I am filling the internal table manually, but in the actual requirements, what you will do, you will pull it from the database table. It can be one table or many tables. You will pull the data from the database table. The data will come and sit directly in the body. But whereas here, if you are filling it manually, I cannot directly fill it in the body. First, you have to assign it to header. From header, you have to copy it to the end of the internal table that is done by using what append state. Any questions? So what this loop and loop is doing, it is looping from first record to what? Last record. So how do we insert the record in a particular position? How do you modify the data? How to delete the data? How to sort the data? We'll discuss all those things in the next one week. What is the site avix? It is a system field which will store the index position in the internal table. The index of the internal table always starts from 1, whereas the index of the string starts from 0. Okay, so I got all the records. I got from first record to what? Last record. I'll do a small change. 
what I'll do here, I'll say U line, just try to understand. I'll get different color, format color uh, 7. I'll say, uh, I'll say data in body from second record to fourth record. I don't want to start from the first record. I want to start from, I want to start from second record to third record, for example, second record to third record. So what I'll do, same story, same story. Here I'll say loop at t underscore emp from, from two to three. What is the understanding? From index two to index three. So when I execute, what I got? From index 2 to 3, what is that? 16, 8. I got only what? Second record and what? Third record. Like that, I can give the range from source to what? Target. I'll do one thing. I want to display only those records whose designation is manager, data and body. For your understanding, I'm giving this message with the designations what? Managers. The designation managers. Okay, so I'll say loop at what? T underscore EMP, where, where, on which field you are doing the condition employee designation, huh? employee designation equal to manager. So data is case sensitive. You know, yum, I give in uppercase. Yeah, yum, I give in uppercase. So I'll say where employee designation equal to, I can say like this, manager or if you feel that I should ignore the case sensitivity, I can be like this, employee designation equal to what? What? Manager understood or also what employee designation equal to equal to what manager. Okay, if you feel that there might be some data which is in case sensitive issue, I can write multiple conditions. Okay, so I'm printing it. So what happens now when it is looping? What is loop behavior? It will copy the data from body to header. Na. So while copying the data, it will start from the first record. Na. What is the first record designated manager? Is it satisfying the where condition? Yes, it is satisfied. It will populate that record. For the second record, what is the designation employee? Na. Where condition is failed? So it will not populate. It will ignore. Then it will go to the third record. Manager, is it satisfying the where condition? Yes. Fourth record, is it satisfying? No. Na. So like that, it will check the condition. If the where condition is satisfied only, if the where condition is satisfied only, it will populate the data to what? Header. So when I execute, yes, I got only two records. The first record and what? Third record with the designation of what? Manager. So what I'm trying to show is, I can process all the records by using loop and loop. I can process from source to target index by using this syntax. I can process the records based on certain condition, based on certain condition. Any questions? Okay, so this example, what you have discussed is how to declare the internal table, how to fill the internal table manually, how to process that internal table by using what? Loop and what and loop. Any questions, please ask. Clear to everyone Ramakrishna, Prashant, Nishi, Anuradha, Sindhu, Ravindra is absent. Right, so what I explained is, I can use a loop statement like this. I can use the loop statement based on what? Source index to target index from two to three, or I can use a loop statement based on what condition. How to give the condition? By using what? Where class. So in the first loop, I got all the records. In the second loop, I gave the condition from second record to third record. How to give that? loop at so and so from two to three okay and i can also give the condition also how do you give the condition where class where employee designation equal to manager or employee designation equal to uppercase manager or employee designation equal to lowercase manager arm is what 
if any one of the conditions is satisfied it will enter the loop so i got the data any questions please ask almost in every requirement in real time we will be using what internal table because in every requirement we will be dealing with what database only na? we are going to, what is the main purpose of any business to perform what crude operations crude operations creating the record reading the record updating the record or what deleting the record so in every application we will be using what database operations so in every example in every requirement we will be using what internal table so today i just shown you how to declare the internal table with header with header okay tomorrow what we will do we will declare the internal table without header and we will see how to fill that internal table after that we will see how to fetch it from what database table so till that time we are going to see only how to fill it manually and we understood two statements here what is this append statement and loop statement what the append statement functionality is it copies the data from header to the end of the internal table and what this loop statement will do it populates the data from what it populates the data from body to header and loop statement always starts from what first record and i can use the loop statement the plain loop and loop or i can use like this from source to target index or i can use the loop statement with what where class done so i'm having some work today so i'll wind off for today tomorrow what we'll do is we'll discuss more on internal tables and always or most of the times we'll create the internal without data today we created what with data tomorrow what we are going to do we are not going to take i'm not going to declare the internal table with header means i'm going to remove this part without header i'm going to declare what internal table so we should know how to work with that how to fill that particular internal table in the real time also in the projects also we will always declare the internal table without header why without header we will understand it tomorrow done so if you don't have any questions for today i'll wind off and uh, you can see in the notes i have shared a separate folder today you can just go through the see so far we are putting all our examples in basic programming okay we are done with that today we are started with our internal tables the detailed notes of our internal area you just go through that so it is not possible to cover the entire notes in one single day this will take one week of time to understand all these points okay to understand all these points it will take one week of time so this is complete internal table notes which are going to use in the next one week also and we are going to see many statements on that and this is the classification okay and this is the purpose of the internal table and maybe after four five days we'll see this diagram the difference between standard internal table sorted internal table, and what ash internal table. so this is a complete notes just go through that okay, program i'll send it today done I'm minding of them. Any questions, please ask. Chala then. So tomorrow we'll try to spend more time with him. Today I'm doing some work. I need to leave. I'm minding of them. Chala.